Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a uh, routine maintenance task. This is the uh, fuel filter. It's a separator as well. So there's a paper filter in there. There's also a chamber at the bottom in which any water, uh, condensation from the fuel tank, whatever, um, that's managed to find its way in can separate out because of course the diesel floats on top of the water. That is the principle. Let's see how it goes. So what we might need to do here is just loosen this off. I'm absolutely certain this hasn't been done for a good long while on this vehicle. So I'll just loosen that off with a good old fashioned pair of pliers until it's finger tight, which it now is. Stick my collection jar underneath it and we'll just twist this off and see what comes out. Now you don't do this if your tank is any more than three quarters full. I'm not entirely sure why if I'm completely honest. I um, suspect it might set up some kind of siphon action. If you do actually know, uh, if you could uh, just uh, leave a comment down below, I'd be delighted to be uh, informed as to why you don't do this if you've got more than three quarts of a tank of fuel. Anyway, this is not the most exciting of uh, jobs, so what I'm going to do is I will let this run out, take off a few hundred mils, um, let it settle and show you what it looks like afterwards, see if we've actually got any liquid uh, other than the diesel in this system. So bear with me, back in a sec. So when you've finished, all you have to do is just tighten this back up to finger tight. You don't need to go crazy with it, don't over tighten it. You might actually damage the threads and cause a permanent drip, in which case you'd need to replace the whole housing. Um, I'm not replacing the paper filter this time, I'll do that another time. But uh, for now, I just wanted to drain off what was at the bottom of there, just to see if there was any uh, condensation, any water actually in the fuel. So I'm going to leave my uh, jar kind of extract here. Um, for half an hour or so, and we'll see if anything settles out. Okay, moment for truth. Uh, I didn't pour off a massive lot because of the uh, frankly staggering price of diesel at the minute. But you can see, just in the bottom of this, let me zoom in here, that indeed there was just a little bit of water in the separation chamber. You can see it sloshing around there underneath the diesel right in the middle of the screen there now. now because I'm a cheapskate what I fully intend to do is use a uh, turkey baster to uh, suck that water out and then put the rest of the fuel back in the tank or at least into my uh, reserve tank but yeah there you go right at the bottom of the screen there you can see sitting under the layer of diesel the water that the, uh, the separator had managed to remove. Now if it got to a point where that was uh, sitting too high in that little separation chamber it could actually flow up the fuel lines and on into your injectors and so on give you all sorts of problems hence the reason that those separators are there but uh, as part of your routine servicing and maintenance don't forget to uh, drain those off every once in a while. There you go, hope that's been useful I will uh, see you next time. Take it easy guys.